I want to talk Lotto. Mm. And when we were lucky enough to have you on the guest, I just did say, I've got so many questions about Lotto. So I've got so many questions about Lotto. I've mm. got, Throw I've them got, at me. I've got a lot. Because you've been there 15 years? God, I might be 16. I am the longest yes. ever. Yes. Yes. So, Which I don't I've even remember a time pre Sonia with Lotto. Oh. I don't remember who presented it before Hil- you Hilary did. Hilary Timmons. Okay. She held the record. I mean, this is a record that's not official. I just Googled it, looked it up, and went, hey, ah. in 2022, which seemed like an eternity away back in what, 2015, I could overtake Hilary Timmons as the longest serving Lotto presenter. Yeah. Thinking I'd never get there. But putting, you know, pressure on the people that, you know, rolled my contract over to, you know, keep it going. So yeah, I nice. could have that, hold that title. Um, yeah, so it's been a long time. I started with, oops, I started with um, a, I don't even remember, Big Wednesday, a game, yes. mm. The Ultimate Lifestyle. No. <laughs> I said yes, but sometimes I say you yes when I don't. remember Big Wednesday? I remember Big Wednesday. Big Wednesday is still a thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we. We kissed that goodbye uh, about well, what do I ten play years on ago. You, <laughs> <laughs> Keno. <Okay. laughs> you play you play midweek lotto. Obviously, the marketing is not working. I have a chat to them. Yeah, I we thought now, it was Big Wednesday. Yeah, I thought Big oh, Wednesday no, was still it's, around. Oh no, it's now so. lotto twice a week. Well, I know that, but yeah. I just thought Wednesdays was Wednesdays, Big Wednesday, and Saturday. No, was well, I, I can, it can be, but there's not that. Remember the all the prizes. Movie. Oh yeah. oh yeah, um, remember all the prizes that came with it. it, it Big Wednesday had the two cars, the boat, oh, the batch. Yeah. yeah, is that yeah, not yeah. a thing anymore? No, that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> oh. Again, I'll talk to marketing because yeah. obviously the I just thought those were the things you could win if you won all the money on Big Wednesday. Like well, you, you could, could buy. Could... Sorry, you could buy. Oh no, those are there for you if you want them. Oh. Oh, but back in Big Wednesday days, you get oh, the shit. money. But you don't have to go, oh, where shall I spend it? Because you've got the Audi and the oh. Ferrari and the Batch and the overseas travel and all those the toys. Right. And then with the money, you can be sensible with it. Yeah, right. That, that was the idea behind it, yeah. So I genuinely thought it was still called Big, Big Wednesday. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get a ticket for Big Wednesday draw. Yeah. That's what I say <laughs> now to this day. You can say that, hey, you yeah. can say it. But how did you get the gig in the in the first place? Do you, like That's quite a big gig to get. I imagine it would be a tough audition process. Did you have to oh, sell yeah, the balls? Had to be in a bikini. Sell the, sell the balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it was, that was, gosh, what was it, 2005, 2006, so we'd matured mm. as a nation and I did not have to get in the bikini. Um, no, I just, yeah, I, that's funny. It must have been not that interesting because I can't, I don't remember, I went for a couple of, of auditions, but um, yeah, I just, just got the gig. We were down, we filmed at Avalon then, so I was living in Auckland and flew down on Wednesdays. Because it was Big, Big Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. yeah, and then flew back on the Thursday. So yeah, yeah. Just the point is that the best gig in the whole of New Zealand? Five minutes on screen, three, th- okay, three minutes on screen, and a day travel allowance, overnight in Wellington, and fly back again. I did love it. Yeah, that's great. Do you know when I especially loved it when I had kids. Yeah, and that was I just went to that hotel room and slept. Yeah, it's like starting a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is my escape this day <laughs> in Auckland. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, um, but we moved to Auckland ten years ago, and now it's great. Oh, I thought I, it was still know. in Wellington. Oh my god! All right, we, we can't. I haven't got enough time to educate you on all the ins and outs of Lotto. So after we've finished, we'll sit down and just go through everything that you do not understand. Is every draw live? Hell yes. Okay, just checking, just fact checking. Hell yes. That's why I say kia ora and welcome to your live lotto draw. Yeah. They're all on the internet too. They're all on yes, YouTube. Yes, well that's not live, but that's <laughs> that's the recorded, uh, that's the recording of live. <laughs> that's how that's a li- these things work. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it is live because, you know, it oh, has to be, aut- authenticity is, is the number one thing. Um, so, you know. Yeah, there's a million checks and balances, and yeah, it's. it's Other like, than this punishing lotto chat, do you get punishing lotto chat? Yep. Every week, everyone wants to talk lotto. Oh, what are the winning numbers going? Like, what's what's the worst yeah, stuff? Where's the best get? shop I can buy a ticket from? <laughs> yeah, Where is the best shop I can I, buy a ticket from? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's random. Yeah. It's uh, not not the shops aren't random, but it, it doesn't really matter. Is that the boring answer to your question? A little bit. Yeah, sorry. Are yeah. the scrutineers real people? Yes, they are, and I love them. Uh, do they have a like a a disc? Well, I was thinking like a, a time frame. Like, do you retire from a scrutineer after well, four years because your integrity may be compromised? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, 
No, but we have a rotating pool from the Audit Audit New Zealand. But Suzanne, who, I mean, I don't, shouldn't have favourites, but Suzanne is my favourite. Um, she was on the first ever lotto draw as a 20-year-old or something, and now she's like a big wig at Audit New Zealand. So she has been there forever. She's good. Wow. Like, she just, she's like, no, nothing, nothing gets past her because we have a lot of rules. Mm. Most of them I'm not involved in. Hey, can you play? Hell yes. I wasn't sure, you know, again, pulling the curtain okay. back. Okay, so if I couldn't play, mm. that would be like saying it's possible to rig it, isn't it? Yes. It's yeah. impossible. Yeah. It is impossible. Okay. You're looking at me like you don't believe me. Well, it's because Stephen always says you've always got to give yourself a little wiggle room, like never say anything's 100%, like always 99, so there's a little... I would say that about most out. things, but I've been doing this 16 years. I Like if there is a way to rig that, I... I yeah, no, there's not. There's mm. not. Good. How this much, is good content. How much prep is involved in what you're going to do? Like, you know it so well. Can you just turn up and go? Well, we we have three rehearsals and then we go live. Um, not rehearsing the ball. Mm. I mean, we, we, we have rehearsals. Good save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we have, we have a set of rehearsal balls and then we have our live balls. Um a lot of balls, mm. a lot of balls lot talking. Of balls uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and so we do those rehearsals just to check that the machines are all working properly and everything. And so, you know, very occasionally there'll be a little, little hiccup. So after the second rehearsal of, you know, the scrutineer or one of the reps isn't happy, then we'll swap the ball out. You know, we have 15 minutes between each rehearsal. Um, but, yeah, then, uh, I mean, am I, I don't know the numbers, if that's what you mean. Like, yeah, I've been doing it a long time. I still couldn't tell you what numbers are going to come out. No. So I'm not that good. Yeah. Hey. Are there any times where you do it and you're like, ah, 27, it's out again? Yeah, hey, occasionally. I'm still, you asked if I can buy a ticket. And one of the things that I said, this is one of the things I remember actually when I was offered the job, is I said, I have num lotto numbers that I play every week. And, I, or, you know, I, I play them all the time. I can't miss it. So I have to be able to play or I can't take this job. Mm. Because as... It's a good power as, move. <laughs> yeah, well, I was just like, you know, yes, it's um, well paid. That's wonderful. You know, this is a regular gig. But that's not like winning mm. multi-million, you know, millions of dollars. So what if my numbers came up <laughs> and I couldn't buy the ticket? And they said, no, nope, you're sweet. I you're imagine sweet. that. Yes, yeah, it never happened. Like, Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding>. Forty. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking see, you. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> How good would that be? Well, actually, I've always thought. Oh, what's the biggest win you've ever had? Can I ask you that? I'm, t I'm so unlucky. Uh. I am so fifty-two dollars. Wow, that's nothing. It's terrible. Yeah. And people come up to me and they go, "Can you kiss my ticket?" You know what? I'm like, "You don't want me to kiss your ticket." I am so unlucky. Mm. But there, and I always thought. On the day, if it happened that my numbers come up, I'd be really cool. You know, I'd just totally. And then um, one day, a couple of years ago, uh, the first ball came out. It's mine. 11. Second ball, 18. Third ball, 27. Wow. These are three of my numbers on one line. And I said to myself, this is fucking happening. And I just felt this cold sweat come up. And I was, I just lost all kind of sort of like the F bomb dropping in mm. the cricket. Just mm. sort of, I mean, I, I did watch that back because I was like, I hope no one could tell that I'd just lost all perspective on where I was. Not calm in a crisis. No, 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 <laughs> no on a live TV. Um, unfortunately, ball number four wasn't mine, nor was five or six. Mm. But I went to that place, yeah. Yeah, you know, we'll of that. this it, life's going to change. And what it would was you a, do? What would you do if you won? Oh, what would you the do? The most painful lot of chat. <laughs> no, hey. Don't answer You're that. that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that the, the you asked me about um, people giving me, you know, talking to me about lotto, yeah. and people do love to talk yeah. about lotto, but yeah, we do. Just ask stupid what, questions <laughs> like, what would you do if you won? No, the, the most annoying thing, and I've put up with it for a long time, and now I'm just over it. Is can you call my numbers out? Yeah. Like, can you cross like, like, cross the, off my like list. you're the first, like they're the first person to yeah. ask me that. So, yeah. like, <clears throat> what do I say? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it will be a bit weird because the numbers that are your numbers won't be the numbers that are coming out. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm I gonna, know. I'm going to pull us out a lotto before yeah, Shay yeah. asks. I'm out. I'm out. I only had, I only, I only had one more, which was any but, genuine mishaps that have happened on a live draw. Um, very, very rarely. But yeah, there have been a couple, but we have contingencies for that. So that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the ball machines 
are amazing, but you know, it, yep, some, there has been once or twice where it just has been, you know, hasn't worked. And so we just go to abort, we abort, and then the draw is conducted off air oh, under audit scrutiny. I've seen that. I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, I that, have seen that, that. That, prob- that did go I'm viral, out. that yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. out. <laughs>